All right, gamers, we have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'm half asleep. I actually fell asleep. I did not expect any of this at all. But yeah, Tech also been gone. They're like, oh yeah, wow, he's getting easy A, which we already knew anyway, though. So it's not too shocking or surprising, but we have a whole bunch of new stuff in here. Was the guy brand new LR Prime Battle um easy A with uh, the physical vet boo and um Bobbity. Um and LR kind of forgot to go over in a brand new one L LR, which I was like, I, I think I throw because it's Boo and um yeah, it's Deborah and Bobbity. Um, LR, I completely forgot to go over it. I wanted to just squeeze him in the video anyway, just because I mean, whatever. And of course, we got um, a brand new LR of Kid Goku, Bulma, and um, Krillin. So the animations are out and everything, of course, to get that ready sooner or later tonight. Uh, been really tired a little bit though, just because it looks at work. And in general, just trying to keep up with Doku. Not keep up with Doku, but more like Doku. <laughs> just really seems almost different. Uh, it's, at the same time right now, it's just crazy. We're Golden Week. I think those been really, really good so far, honestly. I know I was a little bit hard on Boo last night. I think he's really, really good. Um, I think I was just really half asleep and tired yesterday night when I was going over him. I think he's obviously a really good you though, of course, and Gohan, you know, is pretty much almost like kind of his counterpart with the opposite art. But yeah, of course, let's go over it though, of course. Thank you to Dogan Official, of course, for the um, images right here, of course, as always. I'm sorry, I gotta pull up every single thing on everything like I wanted to. And of course, thank you to Minato for all the translations. So yeah, let's go over Gohan though. He should be, he should be pretty quick. Um, But yeah, let's, let's, let's go right into it. I already know he's gonna be broken though, so I got no, I got nothing to be surprised about. So it's funny because people think right now Boo's the best TUR. I think Gohan just beat him. Like Boo didn't even come out almost like it was Boo. Then now I feel like Gohan's gonna probably be the best TUR at this point, just because everything, of course. But yeah, let's go to Saviors or Hyper Saiyan's Key Three. Also at 170. Super attack effect really raises attack and defense up. Um, immense damage lowers attack. Okay, okay. I mean that's what he did before originally. Passive does key three attack defense um 150 158 defense up 58 percent reduced damage received by 30 percent for one turn from the first appearance. From the digital attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, plus that it uh, performs additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, starting from the turn with this character performs three more th three more attacks in battle. <sighs> <laughs> it's gonna be too hard, honestly, though. Garl attacks. That, that's just there, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Attack with 58% within the same turn, plus additional attack with 58% for three turns when Garl is activated. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, he reduced damage. He has Guard. He has he infinitely guards at this point, pretty much. Because his Guard gets all attacks. He tanks. He even attacks attack and defense. They made him a more broken. Um, you know, before even goes ultimate, it goes ultimate guys right here too. Super um super tech, uh, it's just good doesn't change at all though. Uh, super tech effect, great raise attack defense up for three turns, immense damage with the great into stunning. Passive does key three attack defense up two hundred fifty eight. Guard gets all attacks, performs an additional super attack plus additional attack plus fifty eight percent for the rest of the battle and effective against all types. When the same turn, the guards activated plus a, a crit when facing one enemy. It was NP's fifty eight percent or more, or when there's a motion move category enemy. Yeah, not too bad, honestly. Again, like I said, they pretty much improved upon what they did before anyway, so it's nothing like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Boo was an update, though. They gave him a lot. I think I, I do really appreciate for Boo, though. They gave him a lot, though. But I think, I feel like Gohan could probably be him at this point because, again, Boo just, he came out 24 hours ago, pretty much. And then Gohan's like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm taking your place. But, um, like I said, I'm not like, I mean, of course, he's, he's buzzy. He's disgusting, of course. He's, he's disgusting. He's buzzy. He's amazing. He's beautiful. I love everything. I love his base form, how he's built. Like, he, he's meant to stack, guard, you know, attack. Like, he's good. He's going to do damage, though, but not, like, too, too much, though, because, like I said, the main focus of him is literally building up and stacking up his attacking defense. By two, by, I want to say by two, turn two or maybe three, you should be fine. It, as you make it to that turn, because holy crap. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, they made him busted. Like they, they. I mean, we knew he was gonna be busted anyway, but they made him really freaking great. Like they added a lot, but they also didn't take away a lot. But they added, they increased a little bit, but not too much. And I think he's a really good balance of a good unit. He stacks here. He he goes all out here. Pretty much how like Alvaro gets like he's pretty much stacks in his base form. Um, but he's just, his base form is pretty decent though. But when he goes Super Saiyan, he goes all out. So we're the opposite here. Golden's great in his base form. Like, you can even have to transform the ultimate. You can just leave him in base form. Like, his regular teen form, if you want to. But, yeah. He's he's busted. He's good. I think they, I think they did a really good job. They did a really good balance of him. Like I said, they did update his stuff from a little bit from before. Because he didn't really need anything else. Because he was already good. So, they pretty much just improved upon what they had before. 
And I'm glad, unlike Boo, because they just gave him a lot anyway, so they gave him a lot of good support, they gave him a lot of support for himself. Like, you know, the first form, you know, he pretty much, you know, as a basic unit, um, for, you know, versus exchange Boo, the second form is more, um, you know, uh, dodging and stunning, the last one, which is like, pure power, like, pretty much like how ultimate, ultimate gun right here is built, that's how Boo's built too, like, they're very similar, honestly, and I'm really glad, though, they're very, very similar. In their own ways, but yeah, Gollum's good. He's busted. I knew they're gonna do this anyway, though. So it went over the top for him. I'm glad that he definitely deserved it, though. And you know, part two. I mean, we, I mean, part two. LR for summoning, anyways. It's crazy because we got because we like I said the new Goku Bulma in um Quill are pretty much Goku Day, which will, it does make sense. And I'm really glad they waited. Honestly, though, because it wouldn't make like I said, he's almost a year old. I think at this point. I think yeah, I think he's pretty much almost a whole year old at this point. But yeah. It didn't do bad though. And of course, we got a brand new LR, of course. Um, I was gonna go over the info anyway though, so just because I have everything up here already. So they do, um, of course, Majibu Buu Arc, um, or Buu Saga Key 4, all sets of 150. Not too bad for a free play unit. But free play Majibu Buu Arc, I mean, yeah, you, you can take it already. And the super attack effect now, of course, the 12 key raise attack defense for one turn, cost of damage. With a high chance of stunning, it's still super attack, and a high chance of stunning the enemy. Okay. I thought that was the same thing, but alright, okay. Uh, 12, 18 key. Greatly raises attack defensive for one turn, mega cost of damage with the high chance of stunning. Uh super attack and high chance of um uh, stunning the enemy. Okay, it's really weird, but okay, but okay. Alright, um that was now key five, attack defensive 150, holy crap. Plus a digital attack defense of 50% with a super attack. Plus a digital attack that has a high chance of coming a super attack. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Plus a digital key three, attack defense of 50%, launch additional uh super attack. Uh, when the target is attacking defense down status, which has always kind of sucked, stunned, or the target, um, the enemy is uh, attack is super attack is sealed. Um, which, like I said, have a time to get, I mean, maybe super battle row, it's just super battle row, you can't see that, but uh, they do events, but I mean, yeah, you never know. Plus, additional key three in all enemies attack defense, um, minus one percent for four turns after dodging, recovers terms of HP at the end of the turn, in which character is re uh, received, attack is received. Nothing too bad though, honestly, like I said, because I think before they were kind of, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're like sets on everything, of course, like what they're going to do. Um, you're not going to be dying to use this unit on a boost soccer team anyway, though, just because all the free like, options they give you is like, eh. But, um, uh, but the best part, I think it's, it's a Bobby Dindabora? Almost, almost. Yeah, this Bobby's the, what, third LR already, pretty much, at this point. Um, but yeah, like I said, nothing too, too bad, honestly, though. I think they're really good for what they do and everything. Like I said, you could uh, probably use it, maybe, I don't, I don't see no one really using this LR a lot anyway, though, so you're not going to be dying to use them. But yeah, you never know, like I said, they could come in heavy for like a battle road stage, extreme to a battle road stage, uh, maybe a red zone stage, I don't know, I doubt it. But really, I mean, the kids actually really built really well, though, like I said, super attacking, they get attack defense, they get key five, they get some attack attacking defense, they dodge, when they attack defense down status, stunned or um, sealed, you know, they get extra attack and defense up. Uh, nothing too bad though, honestly, though. I feel like that, because I, mean, I see so many of these LRs nowadays. Like I said, not a bad belt unit or anything like that. I think they're actually pretty good. Um, but, I mean, okay, my music paused. I've been doing that a lot lately. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on. That's really, really weird. Okay, really weird. I don't know what's up with my music, though, lately. It's been doing that a lot. Just kind of pausing. I don't know what's that. But like I said, dude. They're pretty, they're decently built, I feel like. They're actually built really well. For free play unit and everything, yeah, I guess there's so many primary LRs and so much stuff now at this point in the game, now I'm just like, yeah, they're good. Like, I said, you're gonna get some probably use out of it, though. But as a, like, you know, as a, you know, person who plays Dokkan a lot, and in general, I just feel like I don't really see a lot of people use them, though. Like I said, you never know. You, know, you might use them, like, at some point. Uh, this is another unit I kind of forgot anyway, though, so I'm gonna go over them as well. So, um, this is a, um, one of the, this is a part one's, um, Free play LR EZA uh, with Bobby and Deborah, so I'm gonna go over them pretty quick because I just I forgot about them. I was just might as well just throw them in here anyway. So I do Majibu are key four, also at the 150, super attack effect, the 12 key, greatly raises attack defense up for one turn, cost of damage, lowers um, attack, so super attack. They're uh, 20 key or 18 key, greatly raises attack defense for one turn, mega cost of damage, lowers defense, uh, high chance of stunning. So they're passive now. Does key eight, attack defense at 188. Plus additional attack defense of 88% when launching a super attack. Launch another super attack with key is 22 or more or higher. And if there's another Majin Buu or category ally attacking at the same turn, dodges. Yeah, major chance up 20% per Majin Buu category ally attacking at the same turn. Additional um, chance up dodge up 10% when 
allies in the same turn are Majin Buu arc, plus additional Tiki 6 and attack and defense of 66% and a great chance to, for attacks to become crits when the enemy is in attack down, defense down status, stunned or sealed. Majin Buu ca pa power category allies get key 3, attack defense up 30% and additional attack defense up 10% for, um, for, it is, it is um, shooting class. Are they even on? They're not even on Majin Power, so what's the point of that benefit? Yeah, they're not on that. Wait, what the heck is that point? Yeah, because like I said, they're not going to be really usable anywhere, though. Because like I said, it's like Boo. Like, I think they're built very, very similar. I'm not going to be shocked that they were developed at the same time because they literally feel like the same. Like, this, this Boo and this Bobby and Deborah feel like very, very similar. Like, they're both very, very similar. Like, he's more, they're more self sufficient while they're um, more support. Like I say, probably not gonna be using these, these two units anyway. They're like, they're like, for what they have, it's great, honestly. Like, they have like good stuff in their kits. It's just that you're not gonna take a benefit from this, like, this at all. You're not gonna take a benefit from. They're not gonna be. You're not gonna be dying. There's so many other boo units in the game. Like, you're not gonna be running this guy over anybody else. Same goes for these guys. Like, you're not gonna run them over every anybody else in the game. Like, you're not stepping on nobody's toes. But they're built very, very similar, honestly. But like I said, you're probably not going to use these two anyway in no other events or just in general, like I said. But uh, yeah, because you never know. They could be useful in a free play easy A or something like that. But in general, though, like I said, um, uh, yeah, they're probably not going to be runnable at this point in the game. Like, they're good for what they can do. They have a lot of stuff built in their kits, but it's like, you're probably not going to run over anybody's toes. But yeah, of course, now onto the probably Goku Day LR, which got revealed really early, honestly, almost a week. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited for this one though. So and a funny card art too. I was like, oh my gosh. This is like early Dragon Ball, like where they're um like I think um pretty much like hunting down the Dragon Balls are uh, pretty much like going to like the um because I didn't read the manga though. I think Goku's going like, to go to Bomo's house or something like that. Just to meet up with her. Um but yeah I'm during the uh, this is pretty much right right on part three I think or part two. But yeah, um, of course we got a new general, um, Officer Staff Black, we got, um, or General Black, or I think it's Officer Staff Black, I bit my tongue, ah! And of course, um, General Blue got a new, uh, boss card. But yeah, let's go over the year, though, of course, there's a wonky translation, so I don't care. So the Boyhood, which is pretty much Dragon Ball Saga Key 3, also has 80%. The Toki, raise attack and defense up, uh, raise it for one, yeah, raise attack and defense up for one turn. Um, cost of damage, um, raise attack and defense up for one turn. Probably, I think they stack pretty much. No, no, this is definitely, this is significantly, probably like 30, 50 percent chance. Uh, costly damage, no mega costly damage. Huh? I actually don't know that. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Costly damage and uh, opponent um, to enemy. Raise attack defense up for super class allies for three um, by thirty percent for one turn. They're passive. So I was a little bit chuggy though. Um. It says, of course, when they have the intro animation, they actually the intro animation had to have a Dragon Ball or a, or Brit Fighter, um, category ally on the team. Yeah, for the first appearance. And the attack, the attacks will be reduced by four turns, attack and defense up 80, 82%. The attack defense goes up by 77% when doing the super attack. Attack up 30% for our allies and for Dragon Ball Saga, beside this character during the turn. We're doing a super attack, the attack defense, all defense goes up for Earth Rider Fighters. Besides this character, about 30%. I like that though. For um each Dragon Ball Saga unit on the team, they get key one, attack defense up 70, 77%. 17%. <laughs> and forms a crypt 7% when there's an ally who's Earth Rider Fighters. Um attacking the same turn pretty much. But rather than its character, attack defense goes up 77%. Let me see additional, yeah, main chance of main chance of doing a super attack. Many chance of dodging. Hmm. Honestly, not a bad build LR though. They pretty much is like another unit has a very similar kit like this. I can't remember on top of my head, but it's like a very similar unit has a kit like this. It's um, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, very much like kind of. I think it's like Vados. I think or like Vados. I want to say physical kid Goku from Path the Power. Very similar built because um, depending how many um. Um, a lot, like, if you have, like, um, I think for Vados, if you have, like, a Universe 6 category, you know, like, Universe of Alpha Saga, or, like, 
something like that, you get more more attack and defense depending on how much you have. Like in Weast too, like depending how much you have on the team, like you can you know they stack, you can interchange it a lot. They're very similar built like that though. I think they're good. I think they're actually really good though for they have like their kids what's built for them and everything. I think for what they have, I think it's actually pretty good though. Like I said, pretty much Earth Bennett fires a Dragon Ball. Which wouldn't make sense, honestly, though. Like, you know, if you have one or the other, you get, like, you know, attack. You get, like, you know, dodge, you crit. Honestly, though, not too bad. They're balancedly built, though, honestly, though. Not too, too bad, though, honestly. I think it's actually pretty good for what they have, though. Um, for their, ki their, for their kids, like, what's built in them, for them and everything. I don't think it actually is too, too bad, though, honestly. Uh, I think it's actually really, really good off of what they have and everything. Uh, like I said, for Earth Red Fighters, they get this. For Dragon Ball Saga, they get this. Honestly, though, not too bad, though, of course. But, yeah, again, I'm happy for his LR. It's, it's, it's funny. It came out of freaking nowhere, and I love it. It's just it's just so funny. It's really, really funny. Um, um, do I have a look at categories? Oh, yeah, they have, oh, yeah, they have it active, too. Okay, for one turn, they, own, they dodge up to 30%. percent it was all enemy's actions for one turn. It can be activated if you're fighting one enemy and the HP is 50% or more. It can be activated while it's are the um, attacking turn super class, um, Dragon Ball units. So, yeah, they pretty much are built around that. So, they have Courage, Innocence, In Fighter, Guns of Dragon Balls, Incredible Adventure, Sharing Limit, Legendary Power. Categories are now um, Dragon Ball Saga, Warriors Raised on Earth, which is our better fighters. Um, Dragon Ball Seekers, Joint Forces, Youth. That's actually going to be good on all their teams, though, honestly. Because like, you you're definitely going to be running that active. It's pretty much, like I said, they're built around Earth Bread Fighters and pretty much, um, Boyhood. It's pretty much Dragon Ball, so. Like I said, it's not bad, though. Because, I mean, they're both going to benefit. Like I said, they, it helps out a lot of those teams. And I uh, think about these are the category era, because we have so much units in the game now, so it wouldn't make sense. But they all end up blending in together. A lot of categories help out each other. The more units we have, the better for the category. The more categories they have, the more better benefits. Like all these easy games. They're going to be good in some of these categories. Help out a lot of these categories. But this unit goes to help out that as well, though. But I think that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go with today. Though we got a lot of easy games, a lot of updates, and a lot of stuff, honestly, that came out really well, though, because Ultimate Gohan's disgusting. They're actually pretty decent as well to Goku, Krillin, and Boma unit. I'm really glad they released because it's actually a funny unit. I have my dead download show already ready to go. So I'm going to upload that first. Going to upload this video right after. Uh, part 1 LR, nothing crazy. Um, like I said, I mean, they have a lot in their kit. Like, these have a lot of meat, meat in their potatoes, but a lot of meat on their bones, a lot of skins, a lot of meat and potatoes in their skins, in their kits. But, um, like I said, probably going to be running them anywhere else. But these two, honestly. Um, a W, honestly, a W for this year. But yeah, see you guys there, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Grab a little drink again, though. Be like, stay safe, wash hands. God bless all of you going out. Put on a mat, on toilet paper. If you really do give a scan, thank you now for all the translations. You're awesome, dude. Uh, make sure I always stay safe, wash hands. God bless all of you going out. Put on a mat, on toilet paper. If you really do give a scan, go outside. Subscribe to guys. It's a good PM. Shout out to the Jacob Social Traffic. You're aware, guys are awesome. Wake up, thank you for all the love. Of course, Jack J. Hit it. Again, not too bad, though, honestly, for the day down. We got a lot of good units in here. A lot of good stuff coming up for um, Goldman JP is cooking right now. But yeah. See you guys later though again though. Peace out.